So that's it for today. Welcome to Trying to Art. We're doing something a little new now. We're actually going to experiment with a few things and try to art in different ways with some new techniques or whatever I want to learn. So today, what we're going to try to do is grout a glass-on-glass -glass mosaic with some clear silicone or clear sealant, something like that. I have this vase that I have covered in various glass accoutrements, glass tiles, little baubles, little whatever these are. They are mostly clear. You can see right through that. So this is, would be called a glass on glass mosaic for the most part. Because the vase is round, these tiles and things don't completely adhere to the sides of the vase. There's space underneath them because they're only stuck where surface meets surface. So what that means is if I were to grout this with regular sandy opaque grout, it would go under each of these tiles and therefore have much less sort of clear space in here for a candle or string lights or whatever to shine through. So I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do regular grout. I also want a little more surface area adhesion, I guess, that you would achieve with grout to keep the clearness and to get some more adhesion and a little more surface area between the tiles, I am going to attempt to use this. So this is a product called DAP Ultra Clear. It actually says it's clearer than silicone, so it must not be made of silicone. I'm not exactly sure what the chemical is, but it's made for you know, your bathtubs, your shower doors, your things like that, that you want to seal up, but not have a visible sealant or caulking. It claims to be, as I said, clearer than silicone, ultra flexible, crack proof, crack proof. It's water ready. It's got multi-surface adhesion. It's mildew resistant. It's paintable. It's interior, exterior, etc. So it seems like a decent product. Now it probably stinks. And it can only be cleaned up with mineral spirits, so I have some mineral spirits handy, odorless, and some paper towels, etc. I also, safety first, have some gloves handy in case I need them. I have a little bit of water ready. This might be useful if I want to smooth out the stuff with my fingertips and I just want some water on my fingers so it doesn't stick. I have a clean surface area to work on. I have my apron on to protect my lovely dress. I have a relatively well ventilated area with a ceiling fan going, so let's get started. Join me down here. Okay, so we're ready to start sealing, caulking, grouting, whatever you want to call it. I earlier tried a little test area right here. It's probably not even visible on camera, but there is some of the sealant right in here. It looks good. It's perfectly clear. It feels a little tacky to me, but I think that's just because it's kind of rubber. So the idea is I'm going to start in this area and I'm going to just fill in all of the areas around here and hopefully it will go underneath all of the tiles, etc. So since I tested, I already have one of these open. So I'm going to try this without the gloves first, but if I find that it's just getting all over me, then I will put the gloves on. Let's just go for it. All right. So I'm just going to squeeze it into the... Ooh. No, maybe I'm not. Is this all gunged up? I'll deal with that in a bit. Snip this as close to the top as possible so I get a small bead. And now we go. So just going to squeeze it right in there and it doesn't matter I guess if I get it all over the place because it's clear now I'm gonna have to remember where I started so that ooh, that just kind of popped okay so it's stringy there's like strings coming off of here so I probably want to go in as much of a continuous motion as I can the question is should I go this way or this way. I guess I'll go up and I'll follow the line of these purple guys here. 
I'm just squeezing it in and I can kind of see it going under there and that's good. That's what I want. I want to fill up all these areas and fill up spaces and it's going under there too. That's what I want it to do. It is a little stinky. I will admit, but as I get going, I can see that I can get like a little bead of it or a little string of it going and just follow that around to all my spaces I want to fill. Grab a paper towel here. Okay. Should probably just have one handy. If I look closely, I can see, and I'm going to touch it, and it does stick to my fingers a little bit. So let me try some water. Put some water on my fingers to see if I can. That works. Okay. It might leave a fingerprint though, but it doesn't stick to my fingers if they're wet. So just mushing it in to the cracks a little. And yeah, I think that's going to leave a fingerprint. It looks like a fingerprint is forming. But that works to sort of get it in and whew, it's stinky. It's stinky. All right. I might have to uh, open my door and window here so that I'm not dying of the fumes. And again, keep it, woo, keeping track of where I've been is going to be interesting because it's hard to see. It's clear. So I'm going to turn my fan on and continue around this for a bit and just see what happens. into the crevices as much as you can and then with wet fingers tap it down in the areas where it squeezes out a little bit too much. Also I think this would be much easier with a gun. My hands are cramping from all the squeezing. one that was a color that dried clear because then you could see it but we don't have that technology yet one day I hope that society gets to a point where we can make silicone that goes on one color and dries another actually I have no idea what I'm talking about maybe they already do make that This is pretty much done. I've filled all the gaps. I've gone in and just made sure it's all kind of smooth around there with my fingertips. Oh no. Oh no. I lost a, I lost a guy. Where'd you come from, guy? Just make sure. Get that in there. Let's see what happens if I just use that. To stick that piece. Alright, leave that alone. 
see what the drying time is here. 24 hours until painting, but it doesn't really say how long in total to cure. So we'll go with the 24 hours. We're all done with our initial grouting. I'm gonna let this dry, see what it looks like, see if there's any fingerprints in it, see if it's all sticking together and holding up, and we'll check back in a day. It is now Wednesday afternoon. I did this baby on Monday morning, so it's been a little over 48 hours. I let this dry in a ventilated room. I had to open the windows because it was pretty stinky, pretty stinky, but I would say that now it's completely dry, completely cured, and it looks great. The silicone or the caulk kind of shrunk down a little bit. It didn't stay flush with the pieces. I don't know if you can see how there's still sort of indents in between. It didn't stay to the surface. It still looks great and everything is in there really solid. It stayed underneath all of the pieces. I can see it a little bit in some places where the glass is particularly clear, but it shows through about as much as the Wellbond glue does. So I don't know if you can see on that piece, but under the texture of the glass, I don't know if you can tell, you can see the blobs of where the well bond has dried clear, but also where this silicone is kind of creeping through. But I don't think it takes away from the effect. A lot of these are textured glass anyway, so I think it looks great. So just to recap what I did here, I used clear iridescent and a bunch of different kinds of generally glass tiles, mosaic tiles on just a plain, clear, round vase. Actually, it had some texture on it. My experiment was to seal it with this clear grout or clear silicone caulking stuff. I used the DAP product called Ultra Clear. It was smelly. You do want to ventilate the room. You want to wear gloves, and it does require mineral spirits to clean it, so keep that in mind but I'm sure there are plenty of clear silicones on the market, clear caulking. This just seemed like the clearest. So now let's try it out. I'm gonna put a little pack of fairy lights, string lights that you can buy. I get these on Amazon, like four for 20 bucks. Stick that in there. They come with a little remote. Turn that on and let's see what happens. Ooh, shiny twinkly. And look, you can see everything through all of the clear glass. It's actually got a really nice refracted kind of look to it. So I am super happy with this experiment. If I'm going to give it a grade, I don't know if I grade things. Do I grade things? I'm going to say somewhere around a B plus A minus and only taking marks off because it shrunk down a bit. It didn't stay flush, which I kind of would have liked, but it still sealed well looks good it's solid it was an easy process stank a little bit so that takes a mark off a minus on this one i hope you give it a try so that's it for today next time i'm going to try to create some diy stands for my fused glass and my stained glass which i already tried before but i'm going to try a few other designs and walk you through the process so until then bye